Look, I am your father. So, my James Earl Jones impression needs some work, that's for sure. So, welcome to the first episode of Henry Shires' co-video, COVID video. Um, so, what this is going to be about is uh, me trying to offer the world some tips, leads, ideas, um, hopefully some jokes that uh, pertain to the many-headed, many-limbed, shadowy, amorphous threat which hangs above us all. Um, so the first thing I wanted to talk about is this mask. So this is a Viri mask, easy to remember, V-I-R-I-M-A-S-K. Uh, they come out of Israel, they're designed in Israel, and they are the state of the art. Um, so I'm not a technical person, so I'm not going to go into the technical side of it, but I will put the link or links in the uh, description below. And uh, these are ostensibly more effective than any of the PPE available to um, medical personnel or military personnel. So... Um, don't take my word for it. Check it out. Uh, this cost about $65. Uh, it took a bit of time to get here because of the international problems with delivery. Um, but it seals completely. So it's very lightweight. It's basically the, the love child uh, of a ski mask and a um, face mask. Um, so great unless you have glasses in which case it's bloody difficult because you've got two options which is to be uh, safe from the virus but almost completely sightless or to um, to be able to see but then not have a perfect uh, seal in the mask so one thing that you can do is if you're if the actual lenses of your glasses, the bit at the front without the arms, will fit into this piece, you can unscrew them, If perhaps if you've got a spare pair of glasses, and fit the, the basically uh, the eye part of your glasses, this part, into the mask in such a way that you leave it in there. That's what they do with dive masks. So if your glasses are not too wide for the published dimensions of the Viri mask, then you are good to go to do that. You've got to take the arms off and leave them off. So perhaps not best to use with your daily glasses. However, uh, this is another option. These are made by a company called Ziena, Z-I-E-A-N-A, -E link in the description below. And they have, excuse me while I get it, you can see uh, the days of preparation that went into preparing for this video. They have a really neat little magnetic flange. Can I say flange on um, YouTube without getting demonetized um, or, or uh, blocked? So they've got a flange, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and this flange does two, th well, these glasses do two things. These are the Ziena. Um, I forget which model this one is. I think it may be the Kai, K-A-I. Again, link in the description below, or would it be link in the description below? Um, and they do two things. So they create a vacuum around your eyes, just like swimming goggles. So nobody's um, gob, as we used to call it in punk days, gets in your eyes, nor the, the uh, airbound um, version of the virus uh, can get into your eyes because it's a perfect seal or near as damn it. The second thing they do is they are fog proof. I've seen a million things on the net about fog proofed 
uh, or fog proof glasses or tips you put soap soapy water on them um oh god none of them work try them out if you want but they're all rubbish these have a lens called optifog o-p-t-i-f-o-g again link in this below um and they work so when i put my mask on not that great big thing but my regular bane mask as opposed to my um uh star wars mask then um i get no zero fogging which is fantastic so um i hope you've enjoyed this video uh my next video is going to be about something far more profound which is how we can heal ourselves and the planet uh but i but hopefully this advice on a mask and or glasses will help you to be able to live long enough to benefit from that